using Senna's Forma Brow Palette. I'm using the middle shade, it's kind of a light brown tone. And I'm using the Anastasia's Beverly Hills um, Brow Brush. And I'm just starting to apply the color, mainly on the ends of my brow, filling them all in. And as I get closer to the front of my brow, I'm just underlining right below. With the leftover product on my brush, I'm just lightly stroking it to give it a nice diffused look. Now I'm beginning with the other eyebrow. Same thing as I did before, applying the product on the corners of my eyebrows, filling them all in first. As I work my way up to the front, I'm going to do lighter stroking motions so I can keep my front of my eyebrows looking lighter. I like when it has a nice fade where the front's a little bit lighter than the ends of my eyebrow just because I feel it looks a little more natural. Now that I've finished filling my brows in, I'm going to clean it up with a Q-tip and a little bit of makeup remover and I'm just going to swipe from the beginning of my brow all the way to the end. This is going to give a much more cleaner result. Now I'm going to clean on top of my brow. Cleaning on top and below makes the eyebrow look even cleaner. So when you do your makeup, it looks even more flawless. I'm going to clean the front of my brows and if you like your brows to be square then you can just bring it straight up. If you like your brows to be rounded then you can do a curving motion. You can tell that I like my eyebrows to be rounded so I'm doing it in a C motion. Alright, are you ready to see these eyebrows stand out? This is MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I'm using a concealer brush. And I'm basically starting with the beginning of my brow and stroking the product all the way throughout to the end. This is the trick that makes your eyebrows look amazing. It's going to have that flawless shape and it actually makes your eyebrows look more uniform. So if you have problems with your eyebrows looking different from each other, this is a good way to make a match. Now I'm doing the same thing on my other brow, just lightly stroking motions, tracing right below the shape that I already have, and make sure that you blend this in. I like to use my fingers sometimes after just to dab the product down so that it blends into my skin tone. Now you don't have to do the top, but I like to trace the top of my brow as well because it makes it even cleaner on the corners. Voila, now you have perfect, flawless brows. I always fill my eyebrows in before I do the rest of my makeup. So to see this video of this look, be sure to stay tuned.